Hey guys, um, this is Summer from Alibaba Cloud Database Product Team. As we disclosed on YouTube channel before, we're gonna generate a series of hands-on tutorials um, about AppsRDB. Today, I will go through the basic use of RDS MySQL Patch 1 connection. Okay, uh, let's start with the formal way we used uh, to connect database on-premise. Uh, here, we have already um, prepared our ECS on Jakarta region. And let's start with connection. Okay. This is a public IP. Copy that. I need to end the password. Let's check the version of my SQL. Okay, as I shown, we have already installed my SQL eight zero. First, check the process. Is it running? Okay, here's our MySQL process. Okay, uh, this is the formal way we use to, to connect our uh, MySQL databases. Also, to do some queries, then exist, okay? And then, let's go to the RDS console. We already have a uh, RDS instance um, also in Jakarta region, which is being created. But right now, it may be ready. Okay, it's running now. First, uh, we need to create an account. Uh, let's say just uh, so root test. Uh, there are two types of account we can create. Now we create the uh, privileged account password I just say it's root okay okay root one oh. okay then uh, we need to uh, configure the allow list All right. As most of us uh, who are running applications on ECS and uh, want to connect to the RDS, then we need to uh, query, do a simple query to see the IP address of the ECS and add it to the wide list. And it's ECS, right? Okay, add. Then it may be ready now. Okay. This is address for internal uh, connection only from the uh, ECS in the same region. Right now we already have our ECS in Jakarta, right? Okay, let's try it. The new will show be so H and uh, port three three zero six. 
and username. Okay. Enter the password. All right, it's done. Let's try something. It works. Okay. And uh, uh, for those who running uh, applications on premise, um, okay. Um, for those who are running um applications on premise and uh, um want to migrate uh, the database part to the uh, cloud, and now uh, public endpoint is what you should apply. Okay, let's try. Now it's ready. Okay. Let's use the public endpoint to connect the database instance now. Okay. P two three zero six O T and P. Dash P on the MySQL server. Oh, maybe it's about the whitelist. And for your security, we recommend to um, set a um, allow list for your on premise connection. Okay. Right now, just give a text. We use um, public connection from everywhere. Please caution to this kind of configuration. Okay, let's give it another try. All right. Uh, copy that. Let's take home. Dash H, the endpoint, and uh, dash P, port, dash U, username of the database instance and dash p okay it's successful we have used it successful okay it's all for today thank you very much